<laughs> hey gang, hey friends, hey gang friends, welcome back, thank you so much for joining me today, how are you, are you okay? I hope this video finds you well, if you're new then hello, my name is Jo and I do nail stuff, she does stuff and nail stuff and stuff she does, oh she's wearing a plaster, I have a plaster and I've picked my nails and my thumbs are broken but whatever, we're here anyway, I'm here, I showed up, um, we're going to do some marbling techniques today, let me take the tissue out my nose, I'm having an allergy day. Um, so I'm going to do a few different marbling techniques for you. We're starting with Aquarium, which is a gel perfection polish. You can buy your gel perfection polish. Blah, 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 blah. Job, I've had like four Cosmopolitans. <laughs> gel perfection polishes at diamondglitters.co.uk and you can use code TEAMDG for a discount. So I've cured one coat and then I've put a second coat on and I haven't cured it yet. I'm taking mint tea and I'm just going to drag it through. You can use a a, sep a different brush than the bottle brush to do this bit but you know can you be bothered so I'm now taking a detailer brush I'm going to go through the dark into the light into the dark into the light into the dark and I'm just going to alternate um, it's quite easy to get carried away with this technique and just keep going and going until you just end up with a big old mess um, so once you get to a point where you like it stop stop it <laughs> put the brush down i did go a bit further than i should have done but as you can see i'm taking it to the into the light and then running it through the darker of the greens and i am wiping you can see there i am wiping my brush every so often so that you're taking off some of that bulk um so that it doesn't cure all lumpy bumpy um but you can do that technique where you push your finger the side of on the side of the nail and then push it towards the middle and then pull off which I did in one of my last videos um, if you do feel like you've got too much bulk that's fantastically out of shot it's late in the evening that's why I'm a bit quiet can you tell uh, so I've cured that and then I'm topping and that is that done uh, as I say I'm doing two of each just so you can see it done a couple of times in case you missed it the first time i don't know i just thought i'd do two so that's that one it's been topped with diamond glass of course of course da, 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 da. that um has been popped aside now i'm taking poison berry and i'm going to do the same technique so we've done one coat of poison berry and then the second coat 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 we're not curing and I'm taking Sugar Plum Spice. This colour is amazing. It's so darn good. Um, and I'm taking, was that Sunkist or Honeybee? Sunkist, I think. Um, and I'm doing the exact same thing. These are the colours I used in a set the other day. So if you like these colours together, go check out my channel because there's a whole set based around it. Um, and while you're there, press subscribe and hit the what is it people say hit the i don't know bell something like that um do whatever you want you don't have to do anything <laughs> um so i'm just taking my brush and just going into one bit and into the other bit and then giving it a wipe and then into another bit and just sort of taking it in turns as to where i drag through so that's probably the easiest marble technique um i cured that obviously and now it's topped with diamond gloss diamond gloss uh okey dokey we see it i do love those colors together though mm. the next technique uh i'm taking wild violet uh i'm going to do a coat of that and cure and then oh this is the what i call a mash marble so i'm taking french lavender and pixie purple and wild violet again i say mash marble that that's just a term that i've coined that's what I'm calling it. I'm sure it has a different name, but I don't know what it is, and I don't care to know either. Um, so I'm doing blobs of each of those colours um, on that cured first coat of purple, which is wild violet. I'm taking a little bit of a sandwich bag, um, uh, any sandwich bag. This one's from, I don't know, Tesco's maybe. Uh, and I'm popping it on there and just pressing and then peel back and then you can keep going back and pressing um but again don't get too carried away or you just make a mess and it doesn't look that great um i should probably have stopped there but i think i wanted a bit more on the the top corner uh, so i've cured that and then i thought i wanted it a bit lighter so i'm going to add some more 
um, where we've mashed it. Oh look, I'm adding, I'm adding lilac lights. Um, I need to sniff. Bear with. Okay, I've sniffed. Um, I'm adding lilac lights, which is a sparkly purple. Um, and just, yeah, I wanted a bit lighter. So you can do another coat if you want to. Um, you know, there's nobody stopping you. There's no rules that says you can't. You do whatever you want to do. Um, so I pop that on there, giving them a mash with the sandwich bag and then curing again. Um, and you can very much just leave it there if you'd like to. But I'm going to take... Um, Alaska which is the gel perfection white and I'm going to draw some veins some marble veins um, and then once I've drawn them I'm going to take a small brush it's called oh fuck what's it called it's called the loop brush this one um, it's from somewhere I'll put it in the description how's about that uh, and I'm just taking, so I'm I'm taking almost half of the line we've drawn and blending it out so that you do still get left with a very fine line, but then it kind of blurs out. Um, as I say, you don't have to do this step. This is just me faffing because, you know, we know that I can't just leave things as they are. I have to take it to the next level of faffage. Um, so I'm going to do that just, like I said, taking half of that line and pulling it outwards and just blending it and fading it out and that does give it that kind of marble look because marbling it's it's not just about having something that looks like marble marbling is um you know has come in the nail world to mean you know different things it doesn't have to genuinely look like marble uh, but i did want to try and go for that here so i've added the the white veins and that's that one and i really like should I wear some nail art? Mm, what do you think? Let me know down below if you'd like to see me have nail art on my nails. Um, oh, it's just the effort though. Ugh. So I'm now taking pink petals and sorbet. I've painted um, Alaska, which is the Job Perfection White, on this nail. And again, I'm doing another mash marble. So I'm going to blob those colours on there and do... Oh, and white. Uh, and just... Um, Place the sandwich bag on and pressy press, 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 and then press, press some more. Um, how is everybody? Is everyone okay? I, I was up till about 7.30 this morning, um, then woke up at, I think, mid, around midday. Um, not the best night's sleep. I dreamt that somebody died. One, I won't, I won't say who, um, but it was really horrible and yeah, just a really shitty sleep. I was up till... I wouldn't have stayed up so late, but I was watching a lot of news on the telly about everything that's going on um, over in America. I know um, a lot of you guys are over there, so I hope you're all okay. Uh, I tried to talk to my friend about, like, I raised the subject with her earlier, and she was like, Joe, I don't even care about my own country's politics. Why would I care about another's? Ours is, ours is even more boring than most. <laughs> um, but yes, I hope you're okay. Sending lots of love. Um, the world in general isn't doing the best job of making 2021 better so far. But I hope you're okay is what I'm trying to say. Um, so with the nails, I've taken um, Girl Talk. And I'm going to do veins in the same vein as the other veins. Um, and then I think I'm going to cure that um, and then go in with some white and do the same so you see you can where I sort of blend some of that out it's too dark so I'll blend out the blended out bit um or you can use the isopropyl alcohol to wipe off bits that you're not happy with um it really is um just a, a, a you know here and there do a bit here do a bit there see if you like it wipe it off if you don't add more if you want more um and I am sort of like I say normally I wouldn't do these veins on top of um a mash marble i was just doing it for the sake of the video and um, just to sort of repeatedly show that technique so i've done the same on there i used girl talk to do the veins um so that's that one and i topped it with diamond gloss of course of course of course of course of course of course of course, of course, of course. lots of people asking where the diamond gloss of course of course came from um and i'll tell you in a minute because now we're talking about the nails 
Uh, I'm taking rosewood. How nice is this color? I think I'm tempted to have this color next. I normally wear really darks, but um, this one's a bit scrummy. And it sort of suits the kind of January. What What is January colour-wise for nails? It's nothing. Nobody knows. I don't know how I feel. I don't even know what day it is. Um, and I'm taking cream satin and the rosewood and the butterscotch. See, where I've put them on the dish there, on the palette, that's the word, um, you can use like a cuticle stick or a dotting tool to sort of marble them on there and then pick them up how I have. I did do that and I tried that with a couple. I just didn't like what it came out like so I'm picking them all up in a in a in one go without blending them without <sighs> for crying out loud without doing what I said you could do. There we go. We got it out. We got there in the end. And I'm taking an ombre brush and where I'm laying it on the nail I'm sort of wiggling it to take it off the brush. But you can see there, hopefully I'll do it again in a sec. So I'm wiggling my brush and kind of tilting that and letting it fall onto the nail. And then I'm going to push in and then pull out from the top again because this technique does leave you with a lot of product on the nail um, and it just you get air bubbles or it crinkles in the lamp and that's that's not what you want so I do the I put it on there like so and then I'll push in um, so I'll push back into the bulk of it and then pull it back out so I'm kind of stretching it out and thinning it back out again so it doesn't do any there's no crinklage and that sort of thing um, this is probably my least favourite technique. I don't know why. It's just fiddly. Um, it looks nice, I suppose. Does it? I don't know. What do you think? Um, you have to let me know in the comments which one of these is your favourite. Um, and then, so now what I'm doing is just faffing. So <laughs> I wanted a bit, a bit sort of wiggled around there. You can move it around and play around with it um, as much as you want. But as I say, don't get too movie aroundy. <laughs> <laughs> because it will end up just just looking a bit of a mess. Uh, so I'm now taking Sugar Cookie, um, which is this gorgeous new glitter polish, um, and I'm going to add some sort of veins or just outline some of the, um, just follow the pattern of where the polish has gone, just to add a bit of, you know, a little bit of glitter, a little bit of glitter, little bit of glitter, um, because you've got to... Add a little bit of glitter here and there. Uh, <laughs> uh, so I'm doing that with sugar cookie. Um, and then I'll put that in the lamp. I'm not going to... Uh, uh, I can't speak. I'm not going to fade this out. I'm just going to leave it like that. And then top it with diamond. A gloss. Of course. Of course. So that can't, I've done it again. I was going to say why. But oh no, I'm, the next one's going to be the exact same technique. So um, for those that have asked where... Um, me singing diamond glass of course of course comes from is because i use um exclusively use gel perfection products um and i'm one of their sort of promoters brand ambassadors whatever you want to call it i don't know i feel like a dickhead giving myself a title like that um uh, and so obviously whenever I top with a shiny top coat it's going to be diamond gloss so it started as me just saying diamond gloss of course and then it started to get a bit more theatrical and uh, got a bit carried away so now I sing it and uh, apparently many husbands of people who watch the channel are singing it as well which is amazing I love it uh, so I'm doing the same here with Pika Lily Circus and Tiger Lily and Penny Rose see I'm doing that again where I'm placing it on there and then where a lot of it comes off the brush I'm going to am I too close to the mic I don't know uh, I'm going to push back into it and re-stretch it out um, I hope that makes sense um, and I did once I cure this um, I pop it in the lamp and then when it comes out it's been wiped because I tried I what I wanted to do was do some white veins on it but I didn't like what it looked like so I wiped it um, but yeah, this one in particular, I just, it just kind of made it look a bit too messy. Because it's kind of messy, isn't it? Um, which is why I'm not a massive fan of this technique. But it is quite a popular one. So th there's there's plenty of marbling techniques to try. And you'll find one that you like the best. Um, and I'm just adding some more pa -pa 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 penny rose here have i missed thursday upload yeah i'm it's seven minutes past midnight oh well sorry 
I know uh, I know that lots of people uh, will be in different time zones, so I might be on time there. Uh, so I've cured that, uh, and I'm chopping at the diamond glass. Of course, of course. I've got something really exciting happening soon um, that you guys will see. Um, I won't say what it is yet because it's not um, finished. But coming soon, something cool. I mean, maybe not for you, but for me, it's exciting. Uh, so that's that one. Uh, the next technique, I'm going to take poolside. Uh, I'm going to lose my voice because I've been talking non-stop for 15 minutes and 32 seconds. Uh, and then, so I've cured poolside and I'm taking the first base and I'm not going to cure that. I'm going to do, I'm just doing a thin layer because I want it to kind of just help the next step slide around a bit. Um, so I'm taking, what was that? I was looking, but wasn't paying attention you know like when you think what's the time and you look at the clock and you go oh, okay and then you turn around and think i didn't i didn't take that in um boarding pass maybe boarding pass and bora bora um i've popped those on there i'm now taking i'm dipping my brush into some ipa which is isopropyl alcohol or your cleanse prep wipe solution um oh so nasal um and i'm dipping my brush in it and then I touch my brush onto the kitchen towel but I don't blot it I literally just touch it a tiny bit so it just takes most like a big excess of the water away a big excess some excess um uh, not water IPA oh I should really go to bed <laughs> um and then I'm tapping it onto the areas of the nail this is my favorite technique um it's easy and it sort of does end up looking quite organic and also uh i just <coughs> oh my god i just did <gasps> do you ever like inhale like a tiny bit of saliva and it hits the back of your throat like a pinprick <gasps> i feel like you can't breathe <coughs> no just me um what was i saying yeah i like the way this looks um and you can sort of fiddle about with it a lot um so yeah i'm just taking my brush with the isopropyl alcohol on tapping it on there try try blotting more of the ipa off your brush first and see um how you get on with that and then you can add more depending on um you know you'll, you'll get to know how much to put on there um and how what it does and what you like how you Ba, ba, ba. there's no point in me carrying on with that sentence is there you'll learn what amount of ipa does what and which you like the best therefore how much to put on your brush okay <sighs> my head's all fuzzy blame the allergies and the booze <laughs> blame the cosmos maybe another one will help uh, so i've now taken was it electro or was it bora bora again uh i'm sure i'm uh, sure i showed you um, and I've done some veins again. Again, you could have left this without... I normally don't add veins at this point when I'm doing it on clients. I, I just leave as is. Um, but for the sake of uh, nothing, <laughs> uh, I thought I'd add some. And it does... And I do actually really like the way this turns out. Um, I think adding those veins did give it um, a more realistic look. Not that I've ever seen, you know, blue marble. I used to um, go and stay with someone who lived in a mansion, but it wasn't their mansion. The, the mansion, oh, I'm doing the same with the white, with the veins, and then pulling out with the loop brush, just blurring them a smidge, and then we'll pop that in the lamp. Um, yeah, I used to go somewhere. There was a mansion that apparently some guy built, some like super rich guy, like, you know, 50 billion years ago, built for his wife or fiance or something and this place is huge like huge the grounds were amazing it's called ottershaw mansion um and apparently she said it's too small uh, i don't know what happened it with it between then and now but now it's been converted into lots of different um houses or apartments flats whatever you want to call it uh, where was I going? Oh, yeah. And they had marble when you went in the entrance. It was all marble. It's great big. Oh, it was so good. Uh, none of it was this color, though. So, ha. <laughs> uh, so that's that one. I really like that one. I'm going to do the same um, in pink, am I? Obviously, 
pink petals and uh, I can't remember blues pebbles maybe yes wild violet and boarding pass I'm going to be ordering the the remainder of the new gel perfection polishes that I don't have yet I'm normally really on the ball and make sure that whenever they come out uh, I have them but I think just because we've been on and off with lockdowns it's not been um, you know there's no urgent rush for me to have my hands on them because I'm not allowed to work so don't tell anyone but I kind of love a lockdown <laughs> um, yeah I mean I don't go out much anyway so it doesn't make a great difference to my life apart from not having clients um, but I like the idea of the world sort of staying in and stopping and it helps the planet didn't didn't apparently the biggest hole in the ozone layer um like seal itself back up again during the first like sort of global lockdown that's amazing the world needs it i mean granted the whole coronavirus thing is tragic and uh but you know good for the planet uh so i've cured that where i just sort of pat pat the isopropyl alcohol around a lot um hopefully i explained it enough in the first one or did i ramble through the whole lot who knows um now's the time to comment Ugh, the nails are okay but she talks too much go f yourself oh <laughs> cosmopolitan uh, i'm now taking <laughs> taking the wild violet and doing some veins again and again 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 you don't have to add the veins horribly out of shot with some of these um and i cured those and i'm adding white i just think it's sort of makes the veins pop a bit although it doesn't really make sense because i'm adding the white over where i faded the purple but there you go it's one of those designs any kind of marbling technique is you know there's not one way to do it where you have to put this line here or this dot here or this whatever here it's it is supposed to look kind of organic and sometimes they are harder to do ones that you don't have direct instructions but just faff until you like what it looks like and then cure that shit get it in the lab um so just add you know add your isopropyl alcohol dispersing is what we're going for and then you know you can layer it again so you can disperse and then think oh I'll put, and then cure it and think oh I'll put a bit more here or a bit more there um so you can play around with it quite a lot and if you don't like you know if you go too far just wipe it give it a quick buff and do it again there you go uh, so i'm now doing another technique i thought i'd do a black and white one a classic marble so i've done alaska and then i've put a coat of base coat so i cured the alaska which is the white did a coat of base coat haven't cured it base coat being the first base and now i'm doing some veins in black which is called blackout um, and that base coat's going to sort of disperse them as you can see it's kind of bah, bah. Oh, it's <laughs> it's going to act a bit like a blooming gel um so it's going to spread out and then i'm taking my brush here and i'm wiping some areas off like removing product just because the black spread out it's kind of grayed the white a bit and i wanted some bits to be more white so i'm taking my brush and removing some of the product oh even my nasal voice is annoying the shit out of me right now i'm sorry um removing so some of the white bits stay really white and i've cured that and then what do I do? I'm adding some black veins again, um, pretty much in the same place as before. And then I'm not sure if I leave them like that or if I do the, um, do, yes, I do this bit. What's this called? I don't know. It doesn't have a name. Um, doing that bit. But like I say, with almost all of these techniques, you don't need to do this step because like I say, marbling doesn't necessarily have to look like marble. It's just a, a, a sort of technique, isn't it? As opposed to an actual look. Um, but if you are going for a sort of realistic look, then this is a good step to do. But if you're not, do the one with the, the mash marble with a sandwich bag or just disperse with the IPA uh, or where you run the brush through it like the first set. And you can just leave it at that you don't have to add these steps um so don't be sort of put off by me adding extra steps to anything but um i thought i would so what i'm doing here i'm moving my brush oh i wish i could rewind so 
I'm doing a bit and then putting pressure on my brush and then lifting off and carrying on wiggling the line. So I'm painting, push down a bit, but carry on painting, but push down. And then you get the bits that are thicker. You see um, where the, light, the, the black lines we've just done, there's sort of a thin bit, then it goes thicker. And that's just where I've applied a bit more pressure as I'm moving my brush down the nail um, to give it those sort of thicker sections and kind of natural organic, you know, look. <laughs> Uh, and then I added some Snow Angel, sorry, added some Snow Angel just to give it a bit of a little bit of little bit of glitter, uh, cured all that and topping it with diamond glass, of course, of course, that's been cured. So that's our realistic looking one. It's still not that realistic, but I'm not trying any harder. <laughs> um, and the last one this is my favourite one. Um, I'm taking Private Island and I'm adding some white because some Alaska because I wanted to make it even more pale than it is. I'm using the Private Island brush um, and yes, I did then put it straight back in the bottle because I thought, give it a shake. Nobody knows. Nobody has to know. Uh, so I'm doing that on there. I'm not worrying if it's streaky at all. I just wanted a background that was really pale but not white. And because I'm going to be using this colour, I thought we'll just, we'll do that. Uh, I'm now taking mint tea and I'm adding that to it. I don't know why, didn't need to. Could have just taken the mint tea, but thought I may as well use what was there. Waste not, want not. Um, but you don't have to use this many colours, but I am. <laughs> uh, it was the last one, so I thought, let's go to town. So I'm taking whatever colours I've put on screen um, and I'm mixing. Oh, that's Sakura blush and l -l 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 lilac lace. I think yes uh, I'm doing the first base again so I'm not going to cure it um, and then I'm going to oh, I was out of shot for a lot of this which is really annoying um, I'm just popping the colors in random bits um, like so and then I'm going to take IPA and you don't have to use IPA at this point you could use your brush and just sort of wiggle them around but the the IPA version of it the dispersing is my favorite version i think it gives it this kind of watercolor natural look because it does just move it, you know it does its own thing when you touch it so um it kind of does have a bit more of an organic feel you know that pink that, that pink green and yellow marble you see all over the place uh so adding bits there dispersing them with ipa uh, and then i'm going to i'll see adding a bit more yellow just do whatever you want. This is terrible, isn't it? Do what you want and you're done. Is that helpful? Um, cured that. And now I'm going to add some white veins. Um, and I will show you that this is actually inspired by um, a foil, a marble foil, which is from Diamond Glitters. Um, and it's so gorgeous that I thought I'm going to try and paint it. Didn't do the best job, but you'll see in a minute. It's not, it's not too shabby. The easiest way to do a marble would be would be get some foilet, which is the gel perfection foil gel, buy some marble foils, bam, done. <laughs> uh, but sometimes it's nice to freehand it because you can match it to whatever colours are on the other nails. So I'm doing the same with these veins, um, using the loop brush just to pull out half of it, um, half of the vein, and sort of fade it out. And I'm going to go in again and just do some more very thin veins. I'm wiggling my brush. You kind of want a shaky hand because um, you don't want dead straight lines. And then I'm topping that with diamond gloss, of course, of course, of course, darling. What else? And that's that one. I think I like that the best. And I will show you. Do I show you? Yes, I do. Um, what I was trying to copy. And it's that one. So obviously the foil <laughs> is much better, but not too bad. That was the inspo. I think I did okay. Um, let me know down below which one is your favourite. Um, here be all of them. Uh, it is, uh, the thing is, I've just done 10, 10 marbles, five different techniques. I still feel like I don't know how to marble. <laughs> if someone says, oh, a marble, I'm like, oh, I don't know how to do it. Um, so now I've got it on video. I can follow my own video like an asshole. 
Um, I hope you like them. Yes, let me know which one's your favourite. Let me know you're all okay. Um, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you being here. Exciting, exciting thing coming up for me, kind of for you. You'll see. We'll see. Um, but some other stuff too. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.